Hi, for my backpack, this is the Z-Tax Arcall. It weighs 27 and a half ounces, although I did add a few things like, this is for the air canister. Can't really tell. It's about the size of a quarter. And the 27.5 ounces includes the shoulder pouch as well as the two hip pouches, as well as two side pockets I added. I'm going to take them both with me. I might remove one and uh, get rid of it later. I don't know. I kind of like having one extra pocket. You can't put anything heavy in there, but I think my water filter will fit fine in there and maybe, I don't know, something else here. This is it. I will say I do have a ULA pack and I think for the hotter weather you should always try to get something with a little ventilation. The ULA it's pure foam so if it's hot, if you get hot, your back is going to be sweating. But the Arc Hall, you can put a little Arc in here and you could keep the pack away from your back and let it cool down a little bit more. I did get the extra double strap over the top. I figured this would be good for holding the sleeping pad on there because I'm using a Z light. And then when I get my bear canister using that, I kind of don't trust the single strap. I don't know. That's how I could stand much heavier. What you see here is the multi pack from Z Packs. It's kind of a big pocket, it attaches to the shoulder straps and sits in front of you. I was worried that when it's hot, it might stop your chest from breathing so you get all sweaty in there. But I kind of need something for all the cameras um, between snacks and my phone and one camera. These just weren't enough. And I was looking at waist packs, but the small ones are way too small and the slightly bigger ones weighed as much as this. So I figure I might as well bring this. So the multi-pack will just kind of hang here. I think there are attachments on here. You might be able to attach it to something else, but I think I'm just going to let it hang. We'll see how much it annoys me. If it annoys me a lot, I'll clip it down or something. The cool thing with this is I attach these big clips, so if I needed to take this off, like if I was going to go across a creek by myself, unclip it, expand that out, expand that out, unclip this, clip it together here, expand both out, and I can just do that, unclip, unclip. And uh, carry it like this actually. So if I had to dish my pack, I could still have my multi pack with me. So that's a plan. And also with this, this is what I was going to use my carry on on the airplane because then I could have all my electronics, little bottle of water, my wallet, and stuff. And then uh, carry it like a satchel. It's kind of nice. I went on a couple of hikes with this and it was really nice. I thought it might be annoying, but really useful. So a good bit of advice is there's these strings on each of the zippers. So what you do is before you close it, tuck one in and close it. So if you have gloves on and you need to open it, there's only one string there and you could just pull. You don't have to like separate strings or whatnot. This is the Enlightened Equipment Revelation. This is the sh short, wide, 950 fill and what that basically means it's one ounce of down and how many cubic inches it fills up so the higher the number the same warmth for lighter weight so i got the wide short because i'm only five six it's perfect and it shaves off a bunch of ounces when you get the short instead of getting tall ones all the time which i hated when you buy normal sleeping bags and i got the revelation because my feet get hot and I like to keep it open on the bottom. And believe it or not, when it was uh, down to 40 degrees, 45 degrees, on my last trip I would stick one foot out and make this hole smaller. But I would stick one foot out <laughs> and let it cool off. And then I'd wake up, pull it in, and stick the other foot out and just rotate it out throughout the night. And it felt great. It's like icing your feet, but just in the air. If your feet get cold, just get the Enigma because it's closed off. And you save an ounce, and it'll be closed off, and you don't have to worry about trying to cinch it down. I see people getting these and then cinching it all the way, and then complaining about the little hole, but just get the Enigma. You'll be all right. This is the 950 fill. 
costs more, but it packs down much, much smaller. And it is the water, water resistant treated down. So, one thing I do regret is I wish I got the different material at the feet and at the head, just because it'll help keep the down stay dry. This part mostly from your breathing. This part when you kick the top of the tent, when you have a single layer tent, it, uh, it definitely would help. So I, I did get this part a little wet before on my last trip. And I think over a long term it might be a problem. We'll see. Going further into my sleeping quilt, this is a quilt. And what it is, there's like an opening here for the people that don't know what these are. And what you do is you actually get into them like this. Button the top. And you sleep like this. And your back is exposed to your sleeping pad. And the only thing that's going to keep your back warm is your sleeping pad. And the thing is... <laughs> I've always wondered like, if they made sleeping bags where they didn't have any down on the back. Because when you lay down on it, you compress it down and it becomes worthless. But you're still carrying all that weight with you and all that packing material with you when you pack it up. And I discovered a quilt and I'm never going to go back to a sleeping bag. No way. This is my X-Pad pillow, 1.6 ounces. It has like a little valve in there so if you blow air into it, it doesn't come out. But sometimes blowing air into it is kind of weird. Some of it. See, I don't have it closed yet, but the air's not coming out. It's kind of nice. Close that up, and I really like this because it's really thick right here. So it really nests in your neck when you're sleeping on your side. I wish normal pillows were like this. So anyway, that'll be there. And here's my quilt. Here's how to get in. So that's on the bottom. Best way to do it, let's lay down, stick your feet in, button up the top, and what you do is bend your knees, bring it over, straighten your leg out, adjust your pillow. There's a little strap over here, you just tighten it. There you go. And then just tuck in the sides. Just make sure it's all on the sleeping pad. And you are just good to go. Look how puffy it is. The only downside to a quilt is you gotta keep your head warm. There's nothing keeping your head warm. So, there. <laughs> they do sell things like a hood. I'll show you. It's like, you can get out of here. This is a Z-Pax down hood. It's very light. Pax tiny. And I gotta say, in 40 degrees, it was way too warm. I woke up in the middle of the night, had to take it off, my head was sweating. So what the... <laughs> this goes on over your head like this. One thing I didn't like is the mouth part kept going over my mouth. And as I breathed out, this whole part got wet. And I kept trying to pull it down so it wouldn't do that, but it kept going up on me. But with this, and the quilt, it should be pretty warm. Pretty nice. A little too warm. So, let's see. It's good for the winter months, but this is overkill when it's 40 plus. On a normal occasion, you could just wear a fleece hat. I usually wear it real old, close to my eyes. Then I wear a shama. I like to keep my neck warm, but... Yeah, can't see. I like to keep my neck warm, but if I can't sleep with the buff, it feels like it's choking me in the night. And I wake up and I just... I just want to rip it. So with the shama, I can add additional 
warmth to my hat and I just do that and I don't tie it in the back because then there's a knot poking me in the neck and I can kind of control how tight it is and that's how I go to bed. Then over and between the Shema and the neck of the quilt it closes it off and it's perfectly warm. If you're colder you could pull the Shema up Pull your hat down over your eyes and this method works for me I think this is what I'm gonna start with I don't know if I'll ever get that down head nailed to me but <sighs> it's the life <sighs> I think I'm gonna fall asleep if I don't get up right away all right oh it's first my eyes I can't see okay and that's how I use a quilt and the whole time, there's nothing covering the back of my body. It's just a sleeping pad. So if you get a quilt, get a good sleeping pad that reflects heat. Otherwise, you can't complain about your back being cold. If it's really cold, get a Thermarest X-Therm. That thing's wonderful. Wow. And there you have it. The last part of my big three, this is a Z-Pax Cubic Fiber Duplex Tent. It is in the camo, and it came with the yellow tie-down lashings. I got the camo because I thought I'd like to be concealed more, and I was worried about the yellow tie-downs, but on my last trip, I camped somewhere, and I knew there was a trail going overhead, and I had to go, out, go down there to go to a viewpoint. And uh, while I walked there, I looked down, and I could not see this at all. But I knew I was looking at the right site because I saw my water, gravity water filter, because it's a bright blue. But I couldn't see this at all or the yellow, so what's up? This also comes in at just 23.1 ounces. It's for two. Uh, be pretty tight for two. There's a lot of people that do three hikes with two people in this, but it can get to work, so it's fine. It is $620 or $630 for the camo version. So it's not cheap, so I don't know. I'm going to try to be careful with it. I probably will bring this bag with it instead of just stuffing it in my pack. We'll see. And with that, come all the steaks. I am bringing a little Z-Pack steak bag because I don't want the steaks to rip things. I will have six titanium steaks and two groundhog steaks. These are for the corners as well as the ends. And it's important to stake down the ends correctly to avoid condensation getting your bag wet. And the groundhog dot stakes are for the vestibules because they get a lot of force on them. And if one of those gives and it's raining and it's windy, you're going to have a wet night. So I've put rocks on these pretty often actually too just because I want to be extra sure that it wasn't going to give on me. One thing I see a lot of is I see a lot of through hikers either staking down the two ends directly or not doing it at all. At z -Pack's website they show or they say you should have a stick. I'll have to show you in one of my pictures but it has to have a stick coming out so it lifts it up instead of straight down and you get a lot more headroom and your chances of rubbing your feet against the top of the tent are reduced so you keep your sleep bag dry. I think that's pretty important. Some people don't consider this part of their big three, but I call it maybe big four, big three plus. But it's my sleeping pad. It's my Thermarest Z-Lite sole. It's a short one, so from the top of my head, it goes down to just about knee level. And I think I'll be alright with it. I've slept with the bigger one before on many trips. I've been comfortable, no problem, sleeping on my side even. And uh, when I first got my quilt, I actually took one of these and laid out on my deck when it was 24 degrees out. And I was comfortable for 30 minutes, so it would be good for me. And I don't mind a short to my knee business, because you could just put everything else, something else under there. Pretty much put anything you can find under there, and you'll be alright. So I'll be good with it. 10 ounces. I've gone on several trips now using short pads, and that hasn't really bothered me too much. As I mentioned before, my feet run kind of warm, so I kind of like it, just kind of resting in the cool ground. 
And as far as the thickness, it's not very thick, less than an inch. A lot of people don't like this because when they sleep on their side, their hips hit the ground. But I've slept on my side on it and I've been okay. And uh, one thing I really like about this is if you find a campground that's not perfectly flat, you don't slide off at all. In fact, one time I woke up and uh, it kind of hurt and I found little egg, like egg carton markings all over my side. But I think this will do. This is a brand new one because they do wear out because they're not that expensive. And uh, this is what I'll be taking.